This is another example of testing a claim made about a population proportion. So we're going to conduct a hypothesis test. It says, consider a sample of 49 football games, where 30 of them were won by the home team. Use a 0 0.10 significance level to test the claim that the probability that the home team wins is greater than one half. Okay. So our claim that we're trying to test is that the home team wins is greater than one half. So let's go ahead and let's run through our steps. So first we have to write out the original claim in symbolic form. So greater than one half would mean P is greater than 0 0.5. Now we would have to write out what would be true if the original claim was false. Well, if P is not greater than 0 0.5, then P would have to be less than or equal to 0 0.5. Now let's identify our null and alternative hypothesis. Remember, null hypothesis always includes equals, so p would be equal to 0 0.5. Now our, our alternative hypothesis, we have to take a look at steps 1 and 2 and see which one does not include the equal to symbol. So in this case, the one that does not include the equal to symbol would be the original claim itself, p is greater than 0 0.5. So that would be our alternative hypothesis, p is greater than 0 0.5. Now, since our alternative hypothesis contains the greater than symbol, that means that this is a right tail test. That means our critical value is going to be on the right-hand side of our normal distribution. So our critical value should be somewhere over here. And then this would be our rejection zone. So now let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch and we can find out what our test statistic is and then our p-value and we can make a decision about the null hypothesis. Let's just go to get more help so we can open up StatCrunch. Let's do a side-by-side -side view. Okay. So first, identify the null and alternative hypothesis. So our answer choice would be C over here. Null hypothesis is P is equal to 0 0.5. Alternative is P is greater than 0 0.5. Now it's asking us for the test statistic. So we're going to go ahead and go to stat. Since we're dealing with the population proportion, we're going to go to proportion stats, one sample, and what we have here is a summary. So now it says consider a sample of 49 football games where 30 of them were won by the home team. So the number of successes would be the number of home team wins, which is 30, and the number of observations is 49. We're performing a hypothesis test. Null hypothesis P is equal to 0 0.5, which is already input for us. And then the alternative is P is greater than 0 0.5. And now let's go ahead and put show critical value and change the significance level to 0 0.10. Let's click on compute. Now we have our test statistic right over here and then it also gives us our critical value and our p-value right over here. So our test uh, statistic, it's rounded to two decimal places, we have 1.57 and then the p-value, three decimal places, we have 0 0.058. Okay, now we need to make a decision about the null hypothesis see if we reject it or fail to reject it, and then we need to write out the final conclusion. So let's go ahead and use both methods here, so that way you get comfortable with both of them. So our critical value is 1.28. So z equal to 1.28, this is our critical value. And then we had a test statistic of 1.5, let me go back see exactly what it was, 1.57. So 1.57 would be about right over here. So we can see that the test statistic is in the rejection zone. So that means that we reject the null hypothesis. So that was the critical value method. Now the p-value method, we compare the p-value to the significance level. So p-value, we're going to compare this to alpha. Now our p-value is 0 0.058 in this problem, 0 0.058. And then our significance level is 0 0.10. Well, 
Well, we can see that 0 0.058, this is less than or equal to 0 0.10. So since our p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, that also leads us to reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis. And now since our original claim did not include equals, so we can see step one, our original claim was p is greater than 0 0.5. So now what we write for our final conclusion, the wording for our final conclusion, we reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that p is greater than 0 0.5. Let's go back. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis. And we have sufficient evidence to support the claim. So we have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the probability of the home team winning is greater than one half.